In today's interesting question, given is a circle with three chords starting from the same point. The length of the chords is given as 4 cm, 5 cm and 2 cm. The angles subtended between the chords are equal. Using this data, we have to find the radius of the circle. Let's check the solution. Let's start by joining BC and CD. We know that in a circle, if two chords are subtending equal angle at the circumference, then they are equal in length. Here the chord BC and CD both are subtending angle alpha at point A. And thus, if BC is of length X, then CD it will be of length X. To solve it further, we'll use law of cosine. It states that in any triangle, if you have to find one side where two sides B and C are given an angle between them alpha is given then the relation is A square is B square plus C square minus 2 times B C cos alpha. So here we'll apply law of cosine first in triangle B A C. In this triangle we have to find X. So X square is 4 square plus 5 square minus 2 times of 4 times 5 times cos alpha. Same law of cosine will apply in triangle CAD. So here we have X is what we have to find. So X square is 5 square plus 2 square minus 2 times 5 times 2 times cos alpha. Here we have got two variables, variable X and cos alpha and two equations are there. So we'll solve them to get X and cos alpha. Let's first find cos alpha. For that we'll subtract the equation. On subtracting X square will get cancelled on both the side. 5 square will also get cancelled. So result we'll get is 0 is 4 square minus 2 square minus when we'll solve this it's 20 times of cos alpha. Solving it we'll get 20 cos alpha equals to 12 or cos alpha is 3 by 5. In fact we'll be using sin alpha in other formula. So here we'll use the identity to find the value of sin alpha as 4 by 5. 5. Now we have got the value of cos alpha or sin alpha here. To get the value of x, we'll use this first equation. Let's take this first equation down. Here we'll replace cos alpha by 3 by 5. Now solving it, we'll get value of x square as 17 or value of x is square root of 17. Now further to find the circum to find the radius of the circle, let's take the triangle ABC and here we'll use sin law. So sin law is A upon sin A is B upon sin B, C upon sin C, full is equals to 2 times of circum radius. So here this circum radius is what we have to find and A is what is this value of BC is there and sin A is this angle alpha. So here readjusting this formula we get R capital R is A upon 2 times of sin A. Here putting the value of A as X and sin A as sin alpha. Now X we know is square root 17. Sin alpha is 4 by 5. Solving it will get the radius of this circle as 8, 5 times of square root 17 by 8. And that's our answer. If you really enjoyed the solution and the presentation, don't forget to press the like button. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata. Bye bye.